Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we are in Canva. We're in Canva's new AI suite, their magic suite, their magic edit suite, their visual magic suite, and they've got some incredible AI stuff. And the one I wanna show you in this video is their new text to image. I'm gonna show you how to access it. I'm gonna show you why it's so awesome and how it's got 19 different styles on day one. So let's just get right into this and I'll even show you some examples that I've already made so you guys can see what it comes with. So the first step here, this is an example I just did. Uh, let's go and get uh, into it. So here we go. We start off, we're on canva.com, but please keep in mind it has to be forward slash canva dash create. I'll put a link in the description below. It's currently not available on the homepage, although that could change at any time. So I'll put both links in the description. Once you're on Canva Create and you're ready to go, you go down here, slide down a little bit, and you're gonna see text to image. Just click on it, and then, then it will show you a little blurb about it, and then you can just go ahead and click try it out. That's what I'm going to do, and presto. And then it asks you to try it out again, and it will open up another browser, because it does that. So that's a little strange, but so be it. Okay, either way, you're gonna be in text to image, and then this is, it's unbelievably easy. It's literally one click. So all you need to do is go over here to the left side and type in what you want. So I want in English, let's do an English bulldog reading a book on the beach. Something silly like that. I don't know. Go ahead and then come down here and then create your image. It'll take a few split seconds and it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna create not one but four candidate images or candidate art pieces for us. There we go, and here's what we got. Well, these are all really darn good, if I'm being honest, although this one does not have a book. Let's click on this one and see what we got. I just left clicked on it and that's it. It's in and it's ready to go. I'm just going to resize it. And literally, it's that easy. That said, you have some more options here. So if I wanted to change it up, of course I could type something else in the prompt, or more importantly, you can use one of their 19 styles, and they're probably gonna be more in the future but they've started off with 19 styles right out of the box, which is awesome. So here we go. We've got all of these different options. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'll give you an example. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-click on this, but before I hit the create again button to re-roll it, I'm gonna go ahead and select a different style. So I'm gonna select something funky like retro anime, whatever that is. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna click create again. It's going to re-roll it or redo it, but this time it's gonna do it in that style. And while it loads up here, oh, look at that. See, this is really cool. Um, I like this one because it has a book in it. Remember, it's still stable. This is all stable diffusion based. And really, it's just basically, they're just using the models and chopping it up and creating content for you. Now we've got, okay, this eyeball doesn't like quite look right, but just keep in mind that you can also edit the photo. So if you like what you see here, but you wanna add to it, I could go ahead and just sort of draw in another pinkish purple eye if I wanted to, or I could click on this one and then now that one's there. So there's that. Now, the last thing I'm gonna show you here is I'm gonna show you some of the different styles. So, you know, you could take a look here. Like if I go to the top here, I've got a French bulldog eating a cookie in 3D-ish style. Some of them are better than others. This is that anime kind of retro style. He's got a cookie necklace on, how cool is that? And then we've got some sort of abstracty painting type stuff stained glass, et cetera, et cetera. You can see all of these different styles. These are already built and ready to go and they're fantastic. Lastly, if you want to export this, if you wanna make changes, you can just double click on it and click edit photo and it does its thing as you know. But also if you want to download it, just go over here to the share and then just go click on download and then bang, click on download, JPG, PNG, whatever works for you. Click download, that's it. So really, it's really, really good. There's 19 styles, it's free to use. I think you get like 50 generations before it cuts you off and then you gotta wait for 24 hours. Great product, great offering. Way to go Canva, thanks for watching.